Hello everyone, and welcome to another game. This is a cool free game I found on Steam called Fluid Lander. I guess the person who made it is called Toro Pipi, so that's that's interesting. It's like a, it's a little Japanese game, so... I mean, it's free, it looks cool, so let's, let's try it on normal mode. Yeah, I did play a little bit before. I played like 20 minutes of it just to see if it was good, and it's good, so here we go. It's gonna let me. Um, can I delete? Yes. All right, here we go. Around 2020, the world is in an age of great graphics cards. Its high computational abilities attracted attention, and now graphics cards are used at anything. However, despite these demands, humans are suffering from chronic shortage of supplies due to the exhaustion of resources. <coughs> In a certain high school, there was a high school girl who loves programming, Kay Kure. And then I tried to run my program I made. It was a blue screen pronto. Oh man, I need a more powerful graphics card, Chiori Tomasu. It's really in short of supplies recently. Even if they sometimes arrive, they're astronomically expensive. Oh, I want GPU times one. GPU! Graphics processing unit equals graphics card. <laughs> okay. Connect lots of them to build supercomputers. Mine some bitcoins. Use it as a heater. And also for cooking. Yum. I want to use them for various things. The latter half sounds weird, or wired. Well, ordinary people like us can only get outdated models. Hey, there may be something if we go to Doc's lab. Is he the friend who lives near you? Yeah, an obviously strange mad scientist. Let's go there after school. Are you telling the truth? After school. Knock knock. Doc, are you there? Wow, it's hot. Sizzle, sizzle. Oh, sorry. I'm eating right now. What's the matter? It is true. You know that GPU is in short of supplies. I thought you may have a bunch of them left. <laughs> um, I don't have any new ones, but I have many of them that are three generations before. That's disappointing. Wow, there's lots of computers here. That's right. I'm connecting lots of GPUs to use it as a supercomputer. It's a lot cheaper than buying it. Uh-huh. The next news is... NASU announced today that some of the meteorites observed the other day may approach the Earth's orbit. Details are yet unknown, and analyses are said to be underway day and night. Hmm, meteorites? Is it that hard to predict the orbits? Bring, bring. Hello, it's me! What did you just say? Okay, alright. I'm, I'm on my way. What's wrong? I'll explain it later. Anyways, you two come with me. End. This is the famous NASA research facility. Doc, what's going on? Long time no see, Doc. This way, please. To tell you the truth, I was invited to the project team to analyze the meteorites' orbits. I will skip the details, but the conclusion is that the possibility that meteorites will hit the Earth is high, I think. Oh my god! What do you mean by, I think? Actually, there are no space center computers around the world that can calculate the meteorites' orbit accurately because of their lack of computing abilities. High precision calculation can be done if we connect more graphics cards, but prices are increasing and there are not enough even if we gather them from the market. <laughs> Furthermore, special rare earths necessary for producing GPUs are running out, so we also cannot produce them for the time being. If only we had rare earths. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Speaking of which, there was somebody in the project team who was writing a thesis about the moon's underground resources. Though it's not made public yet, there seems to be special rare earths deep under the moon. That's it! In that case, why not mine them from the moon? End. So, we want your approval for this mission, President. 
There's a plan to launch a rocket by a private exploration company called Enter X. So if we use them, we can launch the rocket within this week. I see. But can we expect success for this mission? Actually, there is one problem. The launch plan is still in the middle. Though the spacecraft is completed, the systems are not completely implemented. Therefore, the crew must be a programmer, because the systems must be created while boarding. Enter X employee. Unfortunately, our programmers who are in charge of the development are in their death marches, and there are only unhealthy people left. At, uh, like, what's that called? Uh, a footnote. Projects that require long working hours. Oh no. They're in a dangerous condition, even above ground, so it's impossible to send them to outer space. Moreover, languages used in the systems are Assembly and CUDA. They're both niche, and there are not many people who can handle them. I can handle both Assembly and CUDA, but I'm not. But I'm too old. There may be only elderlies who can handle Assembly these days. I can do both. Also, I'm good at sports and have great reflexes. Oh, will you go? What do you think, President? She's but a child, and sports doesn't matter. No, let's go with that. Strike while the iron's hot. This is how Kay left for the moon. Wow, real, real, real funny stuff right there. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hello, hello, Key, can you hear me? I can hear you, Doc. We succeeded in breaking through the atmosphere. Okay, I'm going to explain how to control the spacecraft. There's mainly two keys to use. The first is fuel injection. Use the Z key or any button, button one, if you're using a gamepad. I see, you can move forward with this. By the way, fuels are unlimited, so don't worry. Are you kidding me? The second is rotating the spacecraft. Use the left and right arrow keys or the left and right movement of the analog stick in your gamepad. I see a ring that says goal over there. That's the goaling point. You can move to the next area when you reach there. Okay, good luck. I'm just letting you guys know, this might be laggy as fuck, because I, I remember I changed I changed the physics thing, like I added a ton more particles, let's see. Oh no, it's good. Alright. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to put an epilepsy warning at the beginning of this video. Hopefully I remember, because uh, there's a lot of flashing lights. Is my mouse showing up? Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. By the way, Doc, what is this hazy thing I'm seeing? Yes, this is called ether. Ether? In outer space, there's ether, which is like air. The flow of ether can have a great impact to spacecrafts. If I don't be careful, I could be swept away. You won't get any damage, even if you smash into the ground, if you are within the goal circle. Alright, so there's some luminiferous aether, or luminiferous aether, whatever the fuck they used to call it. Shit, I think Isaac Newton used to believe in it, and I saw it in the Lovecraft story, so that's cool. The Whisperer in Darkness, these things fly through the ether. Ooh, what a beautiful ether vortex, very mysterious. I knew you were going to say that. Hey, something shining is, o something is shining over there? Oh yeah, don't forget to correct the rare earths, that's the original purpose. There are three floating in this area. Tips. Gold will appear when you collect all of the rare earths. The amount you collected and the total amount is shown in the upper left corner. So zero out of three get. Okay. It's cool that I have like infinite uh, fuel. It looks so nice too. This is fun. Oh god. There we go. Gold. Alright. The ether's glitters are beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's very relaxing. I also wanted to see the ether flows from a spacecraft. Nobody would be able to handle the excited Doc if he sees this directly. If I remember correctly, you simulate these things. Yes, compu computational fluid dynamics. Complicated formulas are used. When the simulation goes well, a carbon vortex appears behind an obstacle, and it very excites me to death. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Oh, I bumped. I think we're getting close to the first boss fight, which is nice. It's, it's really cool, like, all of this game. I don't know, it's pretty nice. It looks cool. The ether's, uh... The ether's glitters are beautiful, as they said. Did you get used to the operation, Kay? 
fuel injection is quite strong, so it picks up speed quickly. The trick is to, pr is to pressing the keys little by little. You can delicately operate the spacecraft without accelerating too much if you step on the gas pedal little by little. It is, it's an essential technique in a narrow space. Press the keys little by little to operate the spacecraft delicately. Got it. Let me see, yeah, there's no gravity. Actually, is there gravity? Yeah, there's gravity. Yeah, I think I'm on like an asteroid or something they said, a meteor, right? I don't remember the difference between meteors and meteorites and meteoroids, I think. Ow. But I learned that a while ago in like Earth science. So that was fun. That was a good class. Alright. We did it. Stage 1-5. A yellow wall is blocking my way. Doc, I can't go any further. Hmm, the color's different from the other walls, and it looks easy to break. Maybe you can destroy that wall with the spacecraft's flame gun. I see. I'll try it. Yellow walls can be destroyed with the flame gun. Yeah, I like how the thruster is a flame gun. That's nice. I love how retarded this game is, because <laughs> they don't know English. And I don't know Japanese, so uh, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of them. I, I know very little Japanese. All I know is that this uh, ether is uh, very beautiful. And the discovery of rare earths is a Daihaken. Oh no, damage penalty. Oh boy. If I get out of breath later, I'm, I'm a little sick, so sorry about that. But I'm feeling fine right now, so no big deal. I'll probably be good. Here's the first boss. Doc, what's that? Oh no! That's an ether generator that Nasu set up for the research. It seems to be moving. As soon as it was installed, it ran out of control and became too much to handle. You'll get damage if you touch the cold air. Be careful. Why is there such a thing? Calm down, Key. They could be destroyed with the spacecraft's frame gun. Shoot in the center of the fan and destroy it with the heat. About the icons in the stages. Fire icon temporarily raises the firepower. Lock icon temporary anchors a spacecraft barrier icon. The barrier appears temporarily. The temperature within the barrier is kept constant. Okay, I know what to do since I did this one. So you gotta get this and then lock yourself in position. So that, uh, so that you can blast the fuck out of it. Like this. Yeah, see, this is why I need a seizure warning. Because it's so, like, insane. Oh, oh fuck. I have to go in the barrier, because it's gotten really hot. The ether, it's just boiling. I think it's okay to go out now. I don't know if I can touch the purple stuff. Whatever. Here we go! Oh god, oh god, it's, it, I think I might need to do one more. Probably not. Yeah, you know what, I'll have to... Oh, wait. Oh, good thing I got in. I think it's doing something? I don't know. We'll see. It might, it might make another outburst again. Come on! I just want to get the fire. Oh my god, what the fuck? I can't damage it! But it's not hurting me either. Uh-oh, I need to get in. I was blasting away the heat for a second, so that was good. It was blasting me and I was blasting it back, so it could, I couldn't get hurt before. Alright, here we go! Boom! Holy shit. We did it! <laughs> oh no, damage penalty's kinda high. You know what, it's a million points, it's not that big. <sighs> Actually, that's like half a mil- no, how much was that? Probably not much. I didn't, I didn't see the exact number. 42,000 or 420,000? Could be high, could not be high, I don't know. Stage 2-1. It's blocking my way again. This yellow rock. This is. I haven't gotten to this part before. This yellow rock seems easy to break too. I'll be counting on you, Key. There seems to be rare earths buried right in the rock on the right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten to this part in the game yet, so I haven't heard this music and I haven't seen this level. I didn't know they were gonna have caves, but that's cool. You know, I don't know how long this game is, but I'll, I'll try to play it in one sitting. Come on. 
Yeah, I, I think I read before that the uh, color of the ether is how hot it is, and I guess blue is not very hot. And when it gets like really red, that means it's like burning hot, I think. So we'll see. I never knew there was such a place in the moon. It's a bit narrow, so let's be careful. Oh, I forgot we're on the moon. I thought we were in like a meteor. God, this ether's strong. Blow me the other way. Well, there's two in here. Man, I never knew there was such a place in the moon. Maybe I'll go to the moon someday. You know, mine rare earths. Or rare moons, I guess you would call them. Nice. <laughs> Whoa, it's ovaries. What? You're almost there. The way those uh, the ether curled around, it looked kind of weird. Like a shark brain, if you know what I'm saying. Here we go. So cool. Goal reached. Ooh, took 200 damage. Alright, that's uh, not 200 damage. 200 damage penalty, that's nothing. Next level, okay. Hmm. Here we go. Hey guys, I was interrupted for a second, but I guess I can get back to playing now. Here we go. I think this is where we left off. So that's good. Alright. Phew, finally to a big area. Looks like you can go more smoothly than before. No sweat, right? No, wait, something is strange. Whoa! What's this? <laughs> this is Ether Storm. It's like a storm in outer space. The effect of the wind will be great from here. Collect rare earths without getting blown off. Uh, I'll try. Oh fuck, I didn't realize there's a yellow thing. Fuck! Uh-oh. <laughs> That's really bad. Alright, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do that. Okay. Alright. I think I'm kinda getting it. Oh, good. I think it restored my health. Okay. Damn. Okay. Alright, I think we're good now. I got everything, so... Ooh. A rank. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, this is because Chiyori said something that might happen. M my fault? Yeah, I guess so. Thank you, Chiyori. Oh, oh god. Alright, let me just go and grab that health. You know, I shouldn't have done that, so I don't need it. Come on! <laughs> no! Alright, here we are. Next level. Oh! <laughs> Wow, ether is being sucked. It's like a black hole. There are many things in outer space. It seems like you're getting carried away to the wrong way. Uh-oh, that's not good. Even my fuel, the fire, is getting sucked in. This level's not so bad at all. Why is there so much hell flying around? Let me see, if I pick it up... Do I get anything from it? Nope. Just a little bit of health that I lost. Oh god. Doesn't this look artificial? Interesting. Indeed, it doesn't look natural. 
Anyway, get away from the storm's influence. Oh, getting away from the storm's influence is the first thing. Crazy as hell up here. Alright, alright. Uh oh. Let's get that one up. Okay. Nice. Clear. Here we go. Boss. Oh boy, second boss. Here we go. I don't know how long this game is, but I'm gonna keep playing for a while, I guess. Stage 3 5 boss. Huh, Kay, are you trapped? Maybe. I got lost in some strange place. To get out from this place, it looks like you must defeat that Akabeko like thing. What? Doc, that's not an Akabeko. It's a demon. No, it doesn't look like a demon. It's an Akabeko. I'm on the moon. There's no way an Akabeko is here. It's obviously an Akabeko. Definitely a demon. Akabeko. Demon. Does it matter? Stage tips. The circular terrain will rotate clockwise. Oh, God. Ah, okay. It'll rotate clockwise or counterclockwise when the spacecraft is touching the rotate icon. Firing flames so the enemy's mouth will get damaged. Why do I have to move at all? Is it gonna change or something? It looks like I could just sit here. Let me just move it and see what happens. Oh, it's moving, okay. Oh god. Oh, I know what I should. I should have closed it off. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay, so next time it does that, I'm gonna move this fucking thing out of the way. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. That's not so bad. I did lose a lot of health though. Yeah, see, this is why I need the seizure warning. A lot of flashing lights, bright lights moving, different colors changing all of a sudden. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm good. That was close. I could have died there, but we're both almost dead, me and the boss. Alright, should be it. And then the boss will be defeated. Nice. God. Nice. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a very long game to me. Phew, this place will be safe from the storm. Are you getting lost more and more? Kate, are you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. It looks like you're approaching underground. Well, according to the thesis, there are also many rare Earths deep underground in the moon. Let's continue going. Okay. Let's get these rare Earths. I like this game. Nice, decently easy, pretty cool, short, I think. And it's free, so that's the best. Look at that, there's a gold thing over there. Special rare earth, I guess. Rare earth metal, they just call them rare earths, I guess. Whoa. Nice. <coughs> Stage 4-2. Why is there so many rare earths in the underground anyways? What's in the depths of the moon? Hmm, there's many things unknown about the moon, even with Nasu's technology. Well, but this is your chance. If 
you bring back lots of rare earths, we can make lots of supercomputers. By the way, what are you going to do with so much supercomputers? Super There's only one thing, of course. Huh? Benchmark. Unbelievable! What exactly does he mean by that? I don't really know. Walls are burning away pretty easily. Nice. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Stage five. Oh boy. Stage 5 1. What, what is this? Wow! I never thought there were such machines in the innermost depths of the moon. The artificial terrains, too. I'm sure they're made by extraterrestrials. But there are no vital reactions at all the machines. And all the machines are quite old and damaged. Maybe the extraterrestrials have already perished long ago. There's no need to worry of being attacked. It looks fun. <laughs> there was civilization on the moon too. Wow. No, oh no, this doesn't look too fun. It looks like I'm gonna get hurt doing this. You know, it's like pulsating. I haven't learned, I don't think we're gonna learn anything about fluids and physics, but I don't think this is gonna work too well for me. Oh, that was easy as hell. Much easier than I thought, at least. Little, uh, little violent, but no big deal. Oh, I forgot to get the Oh, wait. I don't know, maybe the health wasn't there before. Ow. Okay. Let's get in. Goal. Are these extraterrestrials machines? They're spinning and making me dizzy. Machines that lost its owners and keep moving with no purpose. Romantic. Yeah, really romantic, huh? <gasps> Ow. I got crushed by one of those blades. I think that thing hurts me, this wall. Yeah, just bouncy. I don't know why I called it a wall, it's a spinner. But it doesn't hurt. It just makes me bounce right off. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Alright. Goal reached. <coughs> what the fuck? Doc, is it so difficult to calculate the meteorite's orbit? Yes, very large-scaled and high-precision calculations are required. Well, whether the meteorites will hit the Earth or not is an important thing. The computational precision we usually benefit from in games are called single precisions, a 32-bit floating point. GPUs can calculate single precision calculations very fast. Oops, it's going to be a long story. However, number representation of small digits are rough in 32 bits. In large-scale calculations, the errors are added up and result in a big error. So, double precisions of 64 bits floating point are used. There are not many GPUs that can do double precision calculations, but supercomputers load many GPUs that can do such calculations. By the way, there is a performance indicator for calculations called flops. It shows how many times floating point operating operations can be done per second. You need to think single precision performances flops and double precision performances flops separately. Wow. <clears throat> Recently, 16 bits half precisions are drawing attentions in deep learning, and there are GPUs that show T flops, teraflops, and half precisions. You must be careful when you get flops. Zzz, yeah, same. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Oh 
Oh wait, okay, I know what I have to do. Hold on. Okay. Yes, I do see the gold up oh, I do see the golden one in the bottom left corner. I'm going for it later. Oh there's a one up. Did I miss that? Actually no, I was down there. Of course I missed it. Couldn't have gotten to it from where I was before. Destroyed for the first time. I haven't died yet. Good thing I have so many lives. I'm. Oh wait, did I get it? I guess I did get the yellow, the the yellow rare earth. Okay, we're almost to the end of the level. Oh god. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Stage 5-4. It's the spinning thing again. I hate this. Does it matter? You're in Earth. I'm alright. I think I can do this. The first timing is important. Brutal. Okay. I think I know what to do now. Grab that. Keep going. Oh, wait. This isn't gonna get me anywhere, is it? I'm gonna get smacked around. Alright, I'll wait. I'll wait up here in the corner. Oh, man. This is tough. Oh, God. No. No! Alright, I'll wait here then. Come on, come on, come on. It's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> it's so violent, smacking me around. Okay. Ah, oh, I had a chance there. Oh, I died again. Okay, how much health do I have? Seven fucking lives. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. <whistles> stage 5-5. Hey, is this a bonus stage? There are many rare earths too. Doc, do we have enough rare earths? Yes, there are enough. Alright, I'll go back after collecting these rare earths. Unfortunately, Key, you are now in the depths of the moon. The GPS compass is pointing the wrong way and I lost my way. Then there's no way but to go further? Uh-oh. That's not good. <coughs> Turns out I'm stuck in the moon. Damage penalty. That's not so bad. Oh man, the boss. I guess this is the final boss of the game? I'm thinking. Unless there's another world. Maybe it'll send me to another moon. It'll send me to the meteor. This is the deepest part of the moon. Something similar to this spacecraft is buried. It looks very old and there's no sign of movement. The UFO in the back of the ruins. It's obviously created by the extraterrestrials. If you stimulate it, it may activate. Achoo! People, be ro ro ro. Oh, it moved. Wh what should I do? Is there any way to attack? Don't be afraid. If it's similar, our spacecraft may have been created by reverse engineering from that UFO. In other words, we, are, we already know its weak spot because our spacecraft is a, comp, is a complete copy. Rush into it from the nozzle in the right moment. Wow, rush into it? 
access from there and rewrite it to programming. I see. It's a plan to overflow the stacks and destroy it from the inside. I'm good at this. Right. Your program quite often has bugs that crashes the PC. The timing of rushing. A rush icon will be displayed in a certain timing. Okay. Just have to break it free. Oh. Oh no. It's going to break itself free. I'm confused. Is this what I have to do? Go inside of it? No. It did say there will be a rush icon. Let me just do this and see what happens if I do this. Nothing. Nothing's happening. Uh oh. I haven't seen a rush icon yet. Oh no, is it gonna stop? Oh, the shield keeps going forever, that's good. Oh, nice. Oh, I could do it again? Aww. Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to grab that fire and then rush inside, and it'll be extra damaging. So I'll just wait for the, uh, Shit to turn purple, and then I'll hide in here. Yeah, it is an exact copy. Uh oh. Well, the music's pretty cool. Whoa. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> that seemed to have done a lot. Uh oh, I shouldn't be up here. I should be down there. Okay. It'll let me go down. That's good. Just hang out right here. You know what? I'll probably take... I'll just go inside for now, because I know I can't rush. Oh, good. Damn. <laughs> this game looks so cool. I love it. And the thing is, it's free, which is just great. So you guys should play it if you want. You know, it's on Steam right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's a bit left. Alright, I'm just gonna go hide in here. It'll probably turn purple soon. No? Not for a bit, I guess. <coughs> Whoa, that is intense. Oh man, there it is. Oh, it's blue. That's probably like insta-death. I don't know. That's kind of dangerous looking, you know. I'm not going to grab the fire this time because I have enough to kill it. Okay. There we go. We've defeated it. Nice. Okay. Music stopped? That's kind of weird. Huh? Does it usually do that when I end a stage? I don't know. Okay. See the conclusion. Planning. Toro Pipi and Ado Pichi. Same people made the scenario? Whoa. Epic. Oh. Oh, can I fly? Nice. Thank you for playing, I guess. For playing. Yep. Pretty cool. Uh, what is that? Theta something? Theta U? I don't know. Delta, Mu, or U, whatever. 1 over P, Delta P, plus. Change in velocity squared times u plus f. I don't know what any of that means. I guess fluid calculations. Yo, I could blast into it like this. <laughs> Boom, just melting it. Did. Oh? At dead p underscore. Hot pico. Woo! Nice. 
http colon slash www.flickr.com Wow, is that where you got stuff from? Isn't that like an image website? Oh, material. Yeah, this is where they got their materials, I guess. Material.animepack.jp So these are all their sources, I guess. I'm not going to read all of them. I'm going to keep doing this, so I'm going to swim. writing there. Wow. I'm really impressed by this. I, I, I think, I don't know, if, I think I checked and the developer didn't make other games, but I'd have to check again. Like, hopefully they did, and if they did, I'll probably play them, because this was nice. Another physics thing. Um, looks like we should be at the end. Immediately after returning to Earth, GPUs were produced from the obtained rare Earths. A few days later. Okay, the details of the analyzed results have finally come out. We did it! I hope the meteorites will not crash after all these struggles. <laughs> we have an ungood news and a bad news. The meteorites will crash in 18 days and humans will perish. Bummer! <laughs> We're done for. No worries. Necessary measures have already been taken. P president We have changed the plan to explode nuclear warheads within the meteorites. We also have arranged specialists of that kind. Oil drill. Why is his face down there? Leave it to us. This is how the specialists of drillers maintained peace on Earth by destroying the meteorites despite losing their members. <laughs> what about my hardships? Hey guys, sorry about that. My dad came in to give me a to give me a letter, but um, that was the end of the game pretty much. There's nothing else happened after that at all. We just went right back to the screen. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We got many CPUs, many rare earths. It was a, an excellent adventure. I recommend you guys check out the game, and um, if the person who made this, Total PP, made any other games, I guess you should check those out too. I don't know. We'll see if they made any other games. If they did, I might play some. Alright, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Bye.